So today we have a very special guest in studio. You guys know him as the internet's boyfriend. Noah Centineo is in Netflix's new film, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. He's in Sierra Burgess. I mean, you've known him from the Fosters for a while. So we're just so blessed. We're bowing down to Noah for this interview. I, I am blessed to be here right now. I appreciate the <laughs> blessings though. <laughs> You are just so charming, and I remember when we first talked in the interview, like, you just have this spirit about you, and I love that the internet feels the same way. So just like these love letters are out, now your movies are out, Ooh. how are you reacting to being the newest heartthrob? I'm kind of just hanging out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Humble. No, nah, not much has changed, not yet, and I hope, I hope not a lot does change. Um, I'll say the same thing I kind of said before in anticipation was, like, the outer world is going to change for sure, and, like, whether it's more people knowing who I am or more jobs coming in, but like I want my inner space to stay the same. Right. Um, and that's really important to me. I mean, with all this buzz, it's, it sounds like you're a little bit of a private person. Like you love to have like that family time and whatnot. Would you say that about yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So this, like when people are in your DMs and are sending you all these wild tweets, I mm -hmm. mean, do you ignore them? Are you responding? What's like your, your yeah, thing to stay grounded? For, for the most part, I, I kind of just don't even really look at it. Mm -hmm. I, I actually found myself engaging with like people I've looked up to for years on like Twitter though. Yeah, like um, who? There's this artist called Quen XCII, and I've been like listening to his music for a really, really long time. And um, I forget how, but like we got in contact on Twitter because I think I like shared one of his Instagrams. Or no, that was it. I, sh I put his song on my Instagram story and he hit me up and was like, yo, thanks for the love. And I was like, yo, thanks for your music, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, wow. How big of a fan I am. And like his music is like really. Uh, like, I, I really relate to it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's been really, really cool, just being able to talk to people that I look up to. Exactly. And I'm sure that's going to keep rolling in because I've seen both films and they are incredible. But it seems like you are now the guy that everyone goes to with rom-coms. It's like, Noah and rom-coms are a thing. <laughs> I don't know. No? You think so? I do. Not yet. That'd be cool, though. Okay. Well, since everyone right now is buzzing over your rom-coms, I want to know, would you ever want to play a villain? Have you ever thought of something like that? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to turn around and do something else. I think that there's like really healthy ways to train. I just did a hair flip. I haven't done a hair flip since I was like 15 with Shaggy. I was always like, uh. I had the, oh, the, you had the Bieber thing? like bowl cut thing. Like, remember? The, the I hair, do it remember. the Bieber. Everyone called it the Bieber. And I was like, uh, always doing that. Anyway. Well, uh, now it's a Noah. It's a Noah hair flip. It's a Noah. It's a little bit... <laughs> A little bit of a tangent, but I think there's a good way to segue into different roles and different genres. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to shaving my head and like doing something crazy. Though. What? We just talked about your signature hair and you're going to shave it off? Noah, don't do that to oh, the yeah. fans. I want to talk about some things that director Susan Johnson has said about you. Uh, she has the like my life. the love of your life. She spilled so much tea uh. onto all the boys I've loved before. So <laughs> I want to get your take on some things that she addressed with us. So okay. we're swooning over Peter and Laura Jean and we see this lock screen photo. Now she tells us mm -hmm. that this was something they took in between takes. Yeah. How do you fall asleep with your co-star like that? What uh, goes into because it? we love each other. Adele. The internet's heart is exploding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like long hours on set. I'm pretty sure that was in the middle of night shoots. And it's like not uncommon for like all of us to just like cuddle with each other. Like Israel and I cuddled together. Like what? it's like not uncommon. And so I was like just laying there because I, I sleep a lot. Like when I <laughs> in between <laughs> yo like like you if I got five minutes I'm out. Right, like, give just me like, a, little, a little moment. And I think one of the times Lana just like was like I'm oh, gonna sleep with you and I was like all right cool she like cuddled in and we were like. Hey. Did I'm you even feel up. the cameras on you guys? Because it looked like a deep sleep from the lock photo. I don't remember the photo being taken, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Another thing she said, which I, I, I agree with it since I've met both of you guys. She said that you are a natural flirt and that Lana is a hopeless romantic. Now, do you feel like that's why your chemistry is so strong? I think that that goes both ways for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Interchangeable. It's not just like, sh like, I'm the flirt, she's the romantic, she's the flirt, I'm the romantic. It's all of it. Um, I would say it's... It's a little bit to do with, uh, one, how amazing of an actress she is. That's, like, a really big part of it. Um, and it's just really easy to react and listen to her when, she, when she's acting because she's just so natural. Right. And then another part of it just has to do with the fact that, like, I think we have similar perspectives on life. Our outlooks are similar. And, and we just, like, really like to talk and communicate. And, and we, we got to know each other really well, so that, that made it really easy.
Wow, yeah. sounds like some deep conversations yeah. about life and, yeah. oh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in Especially that Especially with Israel, man. That kid operates from a place of love. So, like, having him on set, like, like all of us, like, it's just, like, a really deep conversation all the time. Okay, so with that, you know the internet has been shipping you guys for so long. Have you talked about making a marriage pack? If we are both single, will we get together? <laughs> Not with Lana. She's, she's, she's booed up. She's booed up. Booed up. But <laughs> booed up. Yeah. But you know marriage packs <laughs> come down the line. I mean, you make those with your best friends sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made that with my boy Aaron. Like, I got that with my buddy Aviad. Like, yeah. it's 100% a thing. I haven't made it with Lana, though. Okay. Well, internet, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Have you gone on any double dates with her and her boyfriend? No. No? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Not yet. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and move on because you are in so many things right now. But the one that everyone is anticipating is Sierra Burgess. And I love this film. I mean, everyone loves Peter, but Jamie is my guy. So I got to know. I, I love that. <laughs> so I need to know, are you more of a Peter or a Jamie in I'm real life? I'm Jamie, like, most of the time. That's like. For sure. Right. But, like, if, if I'm in an environment or circumstance that uh, calls for, like, a Peter like ego aggressive mentality to come out then like sure but like in my day to day for most of the time I, I stick to I stick to Jamie. Okay so they say Jamie's kind of like dorky and charming so you'd be you consider that yourself boy that. Goofy. He is goofy. <laughs> yeah he's got his like dope friends too and they're like super conscious and I like him. Right. I think yeah I like Jamie a lot. I love Peter. Peter's 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 my man uh, but I'm more like I'm more like Jamie okay, most, cool. most of the time. I like both characters so Either one, you can't go wrong, right? Not yet. So uh, we also heard that there, you know, there's like two books for two All the Boys I've Loved Before, three books. Yeah. And Susan already told us that a sequel is very likely. And she said the storyline between Peter and Laura Jean would be that you guys would have some struggles. You're kind of out of the honeymoon phase. How would you like to see Peter develop your character? How would you like that to develop? Well, truthfully, it doesn't really matter what I think about it. It's already <laughs> written. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that sounds good. Like, I feel like... That's very true and real in relationships. You you get together and it's it's really like fresh and new and and wonderful. And then you start to realize the inner the inner mechanics of like either living with a person or being with someone on day to day basis or a weekly basis. And and the struggles that come with that are, are sick. Right. And I'd like to see that come with with Peter K too. Now listen, I mean, it seems like you're speaking from experience. How do you relate to Peter in real life as far as relationships and dating? Well, something that's similar about Peter and I is, is him with his ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. right? He felt like, as far as like going back into her room and, and, and like being kind of led by her with that bathroom scene when he lets her take the, the, uh, the, scrunchie. the scrunchie. I can understand the concept of, of still... Ha letting someone else have power over you if you've like loved them before exactly um and that's definitely like a an interesting dynamic to play with outside of that peter's crazy and like he's <laughs> wild and he likes to have a good time and i'm pretty similar okay yeah. i love that you like to have a good time and, i mean and, like why else are we here you right know? exactly and speaking of good For time we want to have a good time with you we have a couple games we want to play, you with play you. are you down are you I down like games. Let's play some okay. Games. <laughs> okay so uh we first i want to play a game with you um based off of some romantic tweets that you have actually sent out okay okay so denny come on in oh, oh. <laughs> through each a tab so you can just click through them right okay okay okay, we'll, okay. We'll set it yeah so we'll yeah. set this up for you okay. so uh noah is gonna go ahead and read some of his most romantic tweets but there's a little bit of a twist i want you to say it in your sweetest no. most romantic Stop voice you gotta it. give me some of that acting please oh, oh god and um, direct this one straight to your fans but this I, uh, <laughs> romantically say this <laughs> This is like really like a me thing. It's like hard to be romantic about. All right. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. <laughs> you wrote this, I'm, Noah. I'm so bad at like like doing this, like doing no, like the romantic stuff, like like reading my stuff, like or any anyway. Okay. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling lonely, I take myself out to dinner at a crowded restaurant. You ever done that? You ever gone to like Sweet Green? You ever gone to Sweet Green and just okay. sat at a table by yourself and eating food? It's yeah. nice. It feels good. You kind of reset, you recharge, you put your phone down, you mm -hmm. focus on it. Anyway, next one. <clears throat> this is, I stole this um, from, uh, there's this place called Superba on Rose Ave. It's closed now. It was in Venice. Uh, 
uh, California. And they had this sign right above it, and it says, she is both beautiful and terrifying at the same time, like nature itself. I love that quote. The lip bite at the end <laughs> sealed the deal. I didn't even think about it. Do you remember how fun and intimately intricate making out can be? Like, that's the best thing sometimes. It's good. It's good. No, it's so good. Please. It's hard to take it seriously when I'm reading it back. Like in the moment, I'm like, oh, this is how I feel. You're so passionate. And like now I'm like, yeah, I felt that way. Don't make me feel that way again. Um, Love deeply. Break your heart. Love deeper and repeat. Which is one of the morals in To All The Boys, actually. You gotta tell people how you feel when you feel it. This is one of my favorite tweets of all times. To the girl in the high-waisted denim shorts, dark spaghetti strap t-shirt, and red clip in her hair, who I haven't stopped thinking about since earlier today, when I didn't even attempt to talk to you as you walked past me, I'm still thinking about you. And it's heartbreaking. And the, the emoji is... Are we in your monologue class? Like, that was beautiful. It's real. Like, that was all right, a moment. So, so I went to New York, and I was meeting with uh, magazine editors. Or, and I'm in, I'm in the car, and, like, rolling up to the, the place. I'm really close to where I have to get out of the car. And I see this girl, like, crossing the crosswalk, wearing, like, those denim, the denim and, the, and the spaghetti strap and this red clip in her hair. And I was kind of just taken at, like, how she, she was just walking with purpose. And, like, she was, like, gorgeous from, like, a block and a half away. And I was like, all right, well, I'm in a car. There's, you know, whatever. That's cool. So we pull up to the building, and I literally, I, like, open the door to get out of the car. And as I stand up, she passes me. Fate. And is, like, walking away from me. And I'm, like, and I'm, like, walking, like, six feet behind her, just, like, thinking to myself, oh, my God, it's her. And, like, yo, like, yeah, this is, like, I, I should say something. And I... I usually do. Why? Didn't like I'm you usually say the something? person that's like, oh, I feel something, I'm gonna do it, and I did it. And so then she's just like, and I like, she went, and I like walked into the building, and I was like heartbroken that I didn't say anything. And watch, that's gonna be your wife. You're gonna find her in a few years. It's gonna be a full circle moment, and she's gonna be like, I remember you too. It was May 21st, 2018, at 1:24 p.m. So it was like midday when I saw you. And yeah, if you, if you can remember what you're wearing, you probably won't. Wow. Okay. It's all right. Fans are going to go in. They're going to tell you that they, they were the girl. <laughs> be ready for your DMs to be crazy. <laughs> I was, this is an example of when I'm a hopeful romantic because I was coming out the meeting like, I'll bet you she'll be on her way home when I come out <laughs> at the right time. Like, it's going to work. Okay. Okay. Don't look at her story. Don't look at her story. Don't look at her story. Don't, don't, just don't look at her story. Don't look at her story. Maybe just once. It's fine. It was great. And you looked at her story. Please, round of applause for Noah. That was a performance. Was it? Thank you. you <laughs> Thank you for putting me through that. You were made for rom-coms. So um, the fun doesn't end. I actually have one more round I want to uh, play with Yo, you. I'm here for the long haul. OK, cool. So we have an ET Fast Five that we do with our guests. So I okay. want to get your take on these. Just your first response. Let's go. OK, boxers or briefs? Briefs. Would you ever date a fan? No. <sighs> Heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, no, I mean, it's fine. It, it, that was your initial reaction. No, well, no, but but here's it, it depends. Like, probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I refuse to close any door completely, but probably not. Got it. Now, when it comes to cuddling, are you the big spoon or the little spoon? I like to be both. How is that possible? Hey. Different different settings, <laughs> different sessions. <laughs> Oh, yeah, not at the same time. Okay. That's kind of difficult. You just figure out what day I want to be the big like, spoon. Like, probably, like, in the beginning of the relationship, I'll be, like, the big spoon. But then, like, a few months in, I'll be like, hey, like, can you, like, can you, like, hold me, please? <laughs> no, a what? I like being held sometimes, okay? Okay. Don't judge me. <laughs> Speaking of that, when we're Netflixing and chilling, what's your favorite rom-com to watch? Um, I, I just, I just uh, watch Serendipity. Okay. But it's not on Netflix. That's your jam. All right. Well, what's the most romantic thing someone has ever done for you? Stole my heart. That's not romantic. No, that's, that is very romantic. It's hard to steal a heart. Right? They had to do something romantic. Anyway. No, I get it. Um, there was this, so Valentine's Day uh, a little bit ago, uh, this girl I was with took me on a scavenger hunt, mm. um, leaving me clues, uh, going to the place we first met, uh, like the exact ping pong table that we first met and then to the place that we first like really had a conversation 
uh, and then the place for like our first date, and then like all through the, like these different places, and my friends were all involved, and ultimately ended at uh, the place that I lived, and like she like ran out and surprised me with like the gifts and stuff. What? Yeah, Someone was, did this for you. It was incredible. I want to talk to you about um, your Foster's days. So obviously that was a period of your life, but now the Fosters are having a spinoff. So you're going to be on, is it two episodes? One episode on the, on the first season. Okay, so tell us how you're going to come back into play in the spinoff. I come back into play on the spinoff. How? I'm not going to tell you. You need to tease something, I'm Noah. <sighs> okay, well you how... You got to watch it because it's, it's, it's that good. dope. <laughs> like, okay. like not just my character in it, which is it's really funny, mm -hmm. like the, how they how they bring him back, but more so like I saw the second episode. Mm -hmm. We call them view and choose at lunch. Like sometimes they'll show an episode, and the show is shot like differently than the Fosters. I I, I love the way that they're 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 one like tying in different angles and editing it together. Uh, the the content on the show, like what they're writing about, is is different, and and like as a as a 22 year old, like I relate to the show a lot, okay. and it was really 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 cool to see it, and um, I wish I was doing more than one episode. That's pretty cool, but it had to be awesome to reunite with your sisters on screen. What was that like? It was it was like being home. Oh, like being home for Christmas or Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Well, I can't wait for us to see that so we can know a little bit more. But you have so much going on. Another uh, project that you're working on, the director and the writer, is Jackie Chan. I mean, what is it like working with a legend like that? Are you kicking butt in this one or are you a romantic? Tell us what so, we're in for. So, so, I mean, first and foremost, that man is so driven, so talented, and so kind. Mm. Like incredible i'll steal it from kanye that guy's got dragon energy like like incredible and um it's a his first auteur art house film so it's not like action based it's a drama okay um and it's it's really it's a serious film a little bit of comedy my character brings some comedy but also some heartbreaking moments as well i, I don't know how much i can tell you and I, I outside of that mm -hmm. but it, it was an honor to be able to go to china to meet him and his son and to be a part of a, a film like that. And it's a Chinese language film. Okay, like so you actually had to learn? Not me, okay. but a lot, 90%, 95% of the film, I believe, is in Chinese. Wow. Yeah, it might not even, I don't even know if it's coming out in America. Well, I want to see it, so I hope it comes out in America. Me too. <laughs> uh, I want to touch on something that you did in Sierra Burgess. Your a brother in the uh, film does sign language. Did you have sign, to, yeah. yeah, did you have to learn any, any um, American Sign Language before uh, film? Very little bit. I, I did train a little bit to like, this is my brother. I know how to spell my name, uh, my brother's name. Um, I, don't, I don't really, like, I, it's very specific. Yeah. Uh, and I did not learn how to speak it or okay. how to sign it at all. But it definitely opened my eyes to the community. You know, they're, they're very loving. Like, when, when a kid who, who signs is saying his name, the way they spell their name is uh, you can equate it to our inflection and like emotion in saying our name. So when the way they sign their name shows their personality. Okay. Like is like it'd be like me trying to define myself by how I say my name. Right. Like uh, it has a little swag on it. Swag, whatever it is <laughs> whatever that you, you are. Like yeah, <laughs> it's tight. It's a really beautiful community. So apparently you're a creator of a lot of things. Okay, so the game is called Can You Believe Noah Invented? And I'm going to tell you some of the things that they say you've invented. What are y'all saying about me inventing, huh? <laughs> so uh, can you believe Noah invented floral shirts? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> right. Come I mean, you, you rock one pretty well. Oh, well, thank you. Right. Thank you. Another one. Can you believe Noah? Well, I've never heard of this. <laughs> this is so funny. Can you believe Noah invented being sentimental? They're giving you a lot, Noah. I'm like super sentimental. You so are? I, I believe that one. I okay, you invented it. that. I, I, I can take it. When's the last time you cried during a movie? A movie? Mm hmm. Like a week ago. Which one? What was it? Uh, I was watching it with, um, uh, I can't remember it. It's okay. I, I was watching it with my friend, and, and she started crying. 
And then, like, I looked at her, and she looked at me, and, like, I had tears welling up, and she was like, no! And then, poof, it was, it was bad. I just and think I just spit on you. You're fine. Outside. Who held who after that cry, though? Oh, it was, like, it was, it was, she held me. It's fine. Can you believe Noah invented looking good in Polaroids? All right. No. No. Definitely not. Okay. I wish. <laughs> All right. Can you believe Noah invented the word meditate? No way. <laughs> yep, they say you invented it. So yeah, how do you balance your life? That's a, that's a rumor. That's a problem. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, that is Send a rumor. Send the record straight. Send the record straight. Russell Can you... Brand invented meditation. Everybody knows that. Okay, so guys, no, he didn't invent that one, but he, he's pretty good at it, apparently. Uh, can you believe that Noah invented heart eyes? That's the emoji they said I invented? I thought it would have been like the, the like one or something. No. Screen grab, I just saw it. Is that what that is? <laughs> screen grab. <laughs> they got me, guys. Ready? And screen grab. <laughs> you are a walking emoji. I love it. Uh, can you believe that Noah invented boyfriend material? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Why do you say that? I'm not boyfriend material. Right How now. are you not? I got a lot of learning to do. Okay, so top three things that make someone girlfriend material. Really good at, at communicating. Uh, so communicating effectively, being present, like in the moment, mm -hmm. and, you know, whether that's like when we're together, we're together, and someone who's dedicated to herself. Really good, solid stuff. Last one, and I know this one is true. Can you believe Noah invented smiling? I would say you're pretty good at it. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. This is bad. Stop. They love you, Noah. They love you, and we love you. Thank you so much for stopping and, and talking to us about all things going on with you. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time.